In this video, I'll show you how to solve this past exam IB question. Whenever you see the denominator that contains addition or subtraction, what can be helpful to do to simplify this is to multiply both the numerator and denominator by the conjugate. So in this case, we would multiply both the top and bottom by cosine a plus sine a. When we multiply it all out, we get cosine squared a plus 2 cosine a sine a plus sine squared a over cosine squared a minus sine squared a. When we rearrange the numerator, we actually find that the fraction resembles identities found in the formula booklet. For example, cosine squared a plus sine squared a is equal to 1. Uh, the denominator is equal to cosine 2a, and the numerator is equal to sine 2a. This means we can rewrite the fraction as 1 plus sine 2a over cosine 2a. We can then break apart the fraction into two fractions, so we get 1 over cosine 2a plus sine 2a over cosine 2a. And we know that cos 1 over cosine 2a is the same thing as secant, so we can write secant 2a plus, and we know that sine over cosine is 10, so we write 10 2a. And then we have proved the identity in the question. And that's it for this video. Thank you for watching, and I hope you learned something new.